Hello? Yes, sir. Hello. Um, yes, thank you. Um, I I've been reading Enjoy Life Forever. I'm puzzled about lessons yes. 18 and 19, if it's possible to help. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let, me, let me bring it up. Thank Hold you. On. It's lesson 18 on page 75. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting there. Sure. There. Right. Um, lesson 18. That's in section 2, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. How to identify real Christians. Yeah. It says billions of people claim to be Christian, but they mm -hmm. do not all share the same beliefs nor do they live by the same standards. So how can we identify real Christians? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. um, Do you think that that statement is basically true? Um, well, it doesn't really... Well, yes, millions of people claim to be Christian. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. People have different opinions, but the same thing is true of Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses of just... 30 years ago believe radically different to what you believe today um, you know they did not believe in the overlapping generation they did not believe the faithful and discreet slave alone was the governing body they thought there were thousands of men and women on earth who were the faithful and discreet slave no 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 no, no. we never thought that we never 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 thought that the faithful and discreet slave was always it started in the first century Christian with a governing body in Jerusalem and they used to send out the directives and so forth from there to all of the congregations. That is where that and the faithful and discreet slave, interestingly, is a specific arrangement that Jesus said would be a, a, a very noticeable in the last days. And he says who really is a faithful and discreet slave. Happy is that one if his master on arrival finds him doing what he should be doing. Right? So Sorry, we, sorry, uh, what what is your point about the I can only deal with one thing at a time. Are you saying that what you've believed about the faithful and discreet slave is what you've yes, always taught? We we always we, we didn't believe that all of the anointed are the faithful and discreet slave. We've never believed that. Um yes you did. It's in the 1st of March, 1981, Watchtower, page 24. Hold on. It teaches that all the anointed make up the faithful and discreet slave. Okay, let, let me go to that, please, please. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Because I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses long before 1981, and we never believed that. Well, um, I don't care what you say, it's what your literature says. I can only go by primary source evidence. If your literature says one thing and somebody smiles at me, for instance, I've had Mormons and Christadelphians and Pentecostals and Seventh-day Adventists who smile at me and speak very nicely and very sweetly. Well, just because they speak to me nicely and they smile, that doesn't mean that I can throw away facts and evidence and proof. If their literature says one thing, for instance, the Mormons teach that uh, Jesus is the brother of the devil, Right, he's a spirit brother of Lucifer. Um, <laughs> then it doesn't matter if they smile at me and say, "Oh no, that's not true." That's what their literature says. Yes, you have to um, go by facts. One thing I see. must say. One thing I must remind you of, um, Robert. You remember Jesus' disciples? No, no. Can, can we deal with just one single thing at a time, yeah, slowly? Yeah. Yes, yes. This, yeah. this is related to what this is related to what we are talking. They used to think that the kingdom will display itself instantly when Jesus was on the earth. They used to believe that. But Jesus showed them that that would not happen. So their, correct, their understanding was corrected. Now, let me go to this watchtower you're talking about in 1981. Hold on. Let me go to it, please. And we will read and find out from there what you are saying. Uh, no, 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 I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. It's not what I'm saying. I'm quoting yeah, your yeah. literature. It's what your literature says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, OK, 
okay, I'm going to the magazine. I'm going to the magazine, yep. sir. Um, um, oh, how do I get there? How do I get there? I've got into the... Um, it says, 1st of March, 1981, Watchtower, page 24. Uh, Witnesses of Jehovah understand that the slave, which is earlier defined as the faithful and discreet slave, is composed yeah. of all anointed Christians as a group on earth at any given time during the 19th century uh, since Pentecost. Uh, uh, I know, uh, Accordingly, yeah, yeah, yeah. the domestics... Yeah, could you please let me finish my sentence? Accordingly, uh -huh. the domestics are these followers of Christ as individuals. So it's saying that the anointed Christians, male and female, on earth... Yes. Right? are the faithful and discreet slave. That's what you were teaching in, in 1981. No, 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 no. no. Um, let, me, let, let me just put the, clear, the clarification of what that means to you, all right? And, you know, as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, it's March 1981, right? Yeah. Um, March 1981. What's happening here? 1981, March. Um, oh my goodness. I'm getting my... Oh, the, I want the Watchtower. Yeah, let me scroll down to the Watchtower. I was on, I was on their wakes. Um, um, I mean, you've, you've had... No, 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 no. There's, there's an... Nation. You've There's had about 10 different positions on who the faithful and discreet slave is since uh -huh. the exception of the Watchtower in 1879. You, no, you've no, no, changed no. your position regularly over the last 140 no. years. No, um, um, first of all, uh, with all due respect, um, let me explain something to you about that very thing you just read. Right? Um, oh, Trent. My... My technology is failing me here today. Um, what it means when it says all of the governing body are of the anointed. It, it does not, no, no, it doesn't say that in that 1981 Watchtower. It doesn't mention governing body in the quote that I gave you. It says, okay. quote, witnesses of Jehovah understand that the slave, that's a reference if you read earlier in the article yes, to the faithful and discreet, discreet slave, slave is composed of all anointed Christians as a group on earth at any given time during the 19th century since Pentecost. Yeah. Accordingly, the domestics are these followers of Christ as individuals. Let me finish, please, please let me finish my okay. sentence. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah thank you. Um, so it's saying that the men and women who claim to be anointed Jehovah's Witnesses, they make the faithful and discreet slave. That's what you taught in 1981, right? In about we still 2000, teach that. we in, still teach that. No, you don't. Yes, we do. Because let me explain to you what is embodied in that statement. The faithful and discreet slave is made up of members of the anointed, but not all members of the anointed are part of the faithful and discreet slave. The faithful and discreet slave is the small group that Jesus used. To, you know, like when he fed the 5,000. It was just the 12 apostles, they used it. And he was, he was given a, a, an illustration of how he uses a small group to feed many. Okay? Now, the people that make up the faithful and discreet slave, right, are all anointed. So somebody that haven't got the heavenly hope would not be part of the faithful and discreet slave. Is that making sense? Not at all, no. No, you think you need to deal with just one single point at at a time. I, I thought, uh, Robert, I thought I was addressing that point. The point is this. You're confusing. The faithful and discreet slave is not all of the anointed. Right? But all who make up the faithful and discreet slave are of the anointed group. That is what that statement means. That is what we as Jehovah's Witnesses understand, and that is what we teach. So you don't accept that there was a change 
It, the, no. the actual, could I, you, I haven't given you the Watchtower reference and you've said no. I've got the Watchtower. Yeah, I want to quote another Watchtower. All In right, about 2012, ahead. I forget the piece of literature, it was a rather obscure piece of literature, um, the nature of the faithful and discreet slave changed. It was no longer all the anointed on earth. It, the, it became just the governing body alone. And that no, was explained. That, that was explained that, more fully. I can can I give you. you the reference? That was explained more fully in the Watchtower for the fifteenth of July, two thousand and thirteen, page twenty-two. I know that Watchtower good. If you go to the top of the page, there's a, a box. Did you did you get the point? And on the left hand side, it says the faithful and discreet slave, and it says, "quote a group a small group of anointed brothers." who are directly involved in preparing and dispensing spiritual food during Christ's presence. Today, these anointed brothers make up the governing body. So from about 2012, although this watchtower I'm quoting is from 2013, when it became, this teaching became widely publicised, from 2013 onwards, 10 years ago, you taught that only the governing body were the faithful and discreet slave. No, no, again, you've missed the point totally. In total, you haven't even comprehended uh, the, 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 the context. It is saying exactly what I said to you before you raised this point. I said to you that in the 1981 article, what it is saying is that all members of the faithful and discreet slave are anointed Christians. It doesn't say, it's not saying that all anointed Christians are faithful and discreet slaves. Because faithful and discreet slave is a special little unit, if you like, that Jesus uses to dispense food at the um, proper time. That, that watchtower in 1981 is saying that all of the anointed Jehovah's Witnesses on earth, male and female, we make up the faithful and discreet slave. Um, listen, um, Robert, do me a favour. You pick up the phone and call a thousand Jehovah's Witnesses. From every bunch. I've called two and a half know, thousand, not a thousand. Right? <laughs> Good, and you will find none of us. Every one of us will give you the same explanation. It is not saying that all of the anointed are of the faithful and discreet slave. It is, <laughs> it is, it is. Watchtower, 1st of March, 1981, page 24. Witnesses of Jehovah understand that the slave is composed of all anointed Christians as a group on earth at any given time during the I 19th you, century since you know, Pentecost. That's, that was what you taught you, in 1981. All men and women who claim to be anointed, they together, all of these thousands of anointed Jehovah's Witnesses, they make up the faithful and discreet slave. But that was changed in 2012, and I quoted a watchtower from 15th of July 2013, that was done away with, and there was a change that only the governing body were the, were the faithful and discreet slave from about 2012 onwards. We, we, we do not believe that, my friend. You don't we believe do what? Not, I, I, what you're saying. Okay? You don't believe that the governing body tell... alone are the faithful and discreet slave? Are you we saying I'm wrong that... about that? We don't believe that the governing body alone are the faithful and discreet slave. We believe that all members of the governing body are of the faithful and discreet slave class. And do you believe there are other anointed Jehovah's Witnesses on earth today outside of the governing body who are of the faithful and discreet slave? No. The faithful and discreet slave is one. Okay, they don't have two faithful and discreet slaves. Jesus didn't say that right. uh, faithful and discreet slave. Who comprises slave. the faithful and discreet slave today? Who makes up the faithful and discreet slave today? The governing body. Well, that's what I said. Headquarters. That's what I said. That's exactly what I said. No, 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 they the, make up the faithful and discreet so slaves. So you're saying there are people who are not of the governing body who are of the f faithful and discreet slave on no, earth today? No, 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 no. Oh, hold on. Say that again. You, you're, 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 totally, you're totally confusing me. I'm finding it very hard to 
I'm, I do apologise, but I'm finding it very hard to understand you. Um, okay, look, let me say this to you. Um, say what you've said to me. Je 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 look, let me, let, me, let me start over. Mm -hmm. Je Jehovah's Witnesses have had mm -hmm. different definitions as to who the faithful and discreet slave is. Right? That is not oh. Right? In the, in the first watchtower, Zion's Watchtower, mm -hmm. July 1879, page 3, they said it was the watchtower that was the faithful and discreet slave. And that's repeated in Zion's Watchtower 1890, page 1171 of the Green Reprints. I've got a copy of the Green Reprints, published in 1920. They said it's the Watchtower Society. Then all of a sudden... <laughs> sorry, if you want to comment. No, no, I'll check that at some other time. Sure. And see the context in which it was set. <laughs> then they taught that there was only one individual who made up the faithful and discreet slave... That's in Zion's Watchtower, 1st of mm -hmm. March, 1896, page 47. It doesn't say who it, who it, who it was. It Actually, just says one there was, individual. There, there, was, there, there was an explanation. That is the time when Brother Russell said that, you know, what used to happen is that when they printed the magazines, they used to have the names of the persons who contributed the article. Right, but how they used to do it, they used to get together, see what the scriptures say on the subject, and one of them took the lead in writing it. So, Brother Russell says that we must take the, the, the names away, we're not going to put names I don't on care. Some people uh, Seriously, I, I don't care, I'm not interested. I'm only focusing on the faithful and discreet slave, which we in 1896 was one individual. We, listen, um, Robert, we don't have a problem saying we adjusted our understanding of that. Because the, it became bright. Okay? Well, just be honest with me. Tell me that, yes, you have changed your position on who the faithful and discreet slave is. Now, uh, what Pastor Russell died on a train, Halloween 1916, mm -hmm. right? Um, after his death, several pieces of Watchtower literature, quite a few, stated that he alone was the faithful and discreet slave. That's in a copy of The Finnish Mystery, the first edition published in 1917 on page 5 and also on page 418 states that Pastor Russell was the faithful and discreet slave. Do you want me to read that to you? Do you want me to get it and read it? No, 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 no. What, 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 I remember something about this. You remember what I said to you? That Brother Russell said to take the names away because this food that they're sharing is from the faithful and discreet slave. I don't care. I, I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about who happened? is the faithful um, and Robert, discreet slave. Robert, can I just... Can I just tell you something that my grandparents told me. They said to me that some brothers did promote that Brother Russell was... I don't care what some brothers said. And, I'm only and, interested and, in primary source evidence. I don't want to go by videos or what people said or what some right. somebody's grandfather said. I'm only interested and I'm only quoting Watchtower material. Go ahead. Yeah. But watchtower material have been changed. Our I know that. That's the point right. I'm making. Yes, it, yes. In, in 1920, right, yes. in, in, 19, in 1920, for instance, I've got a, a scan here. I don't actually own an original copy of this, but I've got a scan because I've got the PDFs. Watchtower, 1st of April, 1920, page 101. And it says, no one in present truth for a moment doubts that Brother Russell filled the office of the faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Matthew 24, 45. Now, I can quote other watchtowers and literature at the time, but I've given you two. The Finished Mystery, page 5 and page 418, uh -huh. say uh -huh. Russell was the faithful and discreet slave. That's you're talking about, and we've corrected a lot of understanding from yes, that. Yes, I understand that, but all I'm saying is, at the time, you taught that Russell was the faithful and discreet slave. That's the only point I'm making. Mm. I know you've okay. changed your position now. Okay, yes, 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 we have. Right. In 1927, uh, 15th of February Watchtower, uh, pages 55 and 56, it would take me a while to dig those out and, and find them, um, it's not C.T. Russell who's the faithful and discreet slave. Instead, it's Jesus together with the entire body of Christ. So there's another change. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 
I don't know about that one. Right. I'll well, have to look at that. Look, I'll tell you something, Robert. Um, I would say to you quite freely and honestly that we have in the past, you know, had things not 100% right. Right. Then my and point is, are, the were these people the real Christians? In, in time corrected us. Yes, but were these, I don't, I don't care. Were these people real Christians who got things wrong? Because your book, Enjoy yes, Life were. Forever, yes. if, you, if you read paragraph one, two and three, it seems to imply that real Christians base their beliefs on the Bible. Yes. Now, as so the, the apostles, early Bible the apostles, students... The apostles, the, apostles, the apostles had things wrong. Oh, oh, give me an example of that. When they thought that the kingdom would display itself instantly. Um, no, and, you're, you're, you're talking about before they were infilled with the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Just Matthew, second, Matthew 24, verses uh, Robert, 1 and 2 just, is just before... Let me, just, let me just tell this person I'll call them back. Just hold a second. Sure. You've been placed on hold. Please wait. Robert. Yes. Yes. Um, I've got an urgent congregation matter to attend to now. Okay. Um, somebody just called me. Okay. Um, yeah, but listen, Robert, we, we, we have made mistakes. We, we, and, you know, but we don't hide behind the mistakes. We said, yes, we had it wrong. And you know what? We showed a scriptural correction and the way Jehovah's Spirit in time puts us right. Right? We don't have a problem with that. We are imperfect. We are not inspired. The Watchtower is not inspired. The Bible is inspired. And we have to understand the Bible. And that only comes with Jehovah's time and when his spirit opens uh, up that understanding to us. Yes, your, your book, Enjoy Life Forever, paragraph 1, says this means that real Christians must obey Jesus' teaching. And yes. just as Jesus relied on the scriptures to support his teachings, real Christians so base their be. beliefs on the Bible. Yep. Right? So yep. real Christians base their belief on the Bible, yes? Yes. Yes. Right. We both agree that Russell and Rutherford taught error regarding who the faithful and discreet slave is. I'm not saying I agree with your present position, by the way, but if you're oh, yeah, well, the, um, Robert, they differed from could, your so could, could, how could, were they real I, Christians? I tell you what, I, I've got somebody waiting for me. Okay. On an urgent matter. Okay, get back to me then some some yeah. sometime. Good, 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 good. Okay, right. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Bye.